The Wolf Motor Function Test is an assessment that quantifies upper extremity motor ability through a series of timed and functional tasks. I'm Sonia. Hello. I'm going to be your OT for the day. Okay. Um, how are you doing today? I'm doing okay. Still recovering. Prior to administering the assessment, it's a good idea to get an occupational profile of your client. So, like I said, today we're going to take a look at how you're able to use your arm. First, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how we're going to do this. Okay. First, I'm going to give you instructions on how to do each task, and then I will show you how to do it. I will describe and demonstrate it two times, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have before you go ahead and try it. Then I will say, ready, set, go, and you will complete the task. It's important that you don't start until I say go, otherwise that will mess with my timing, All right. and you will have to repeat the task. Each of the activities you'll be asked to do, you should do as quick as you can. You will have two minutes for each task. Mm -hmm. And we ask that you attempt each part even if you don't think that you're able to do it. All right. If you are, if you are unable to carry out a task, then we'll just go on to the next one. Again, try to do each task as rapidly as possible. Do you have any questions? Um, I think I got it. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the first task. I'm going to ask that you go ahead and place your forearm on the table as quickly as you can. Do it just like this. At the end of the movement, your hand and forearm should be on the surface of the table and do this as quickly as you can. All right, ready, set, go. So for this task, you are going to place your forearm on the box as quickly as you can. Do it just like this. At the end, your whole forearm should be flat and touching the surface of the box and your hand drooping over the edge of the box. Do this as quickly as you can. Do you need me to repeat the instructions? So, hand drooping? Yes. Okay. Over like that. Do you have any other questions? I do not. Okay. Ready, set, go. Great job. So, for this task, you are going to slide your hand across the table by moving your hand away from your body and straighten your elbow to its fullest extent. You can raise your elbow from the table if you need to, and please keep your shoulders level and just move your arm just like this. Do not lean over and keep your body as straight as possible. Do you have any questions? I do not. Okay, ready, set, go. Great job. So for task four, you're gonna push this weight all the way across the table by moving your hand away from your body while trying to keep your elbow on the table. Your forearm should remain in contact with the weight all the way through. Also, again, please keep your shoulders level and move your arm just like this. Do not lean over and keep your body straight. Do you have any questions? I do not. Okay. It's like a little workout. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Great job. So for this next one, we're going to go ahead and change our chair position. Okay. So if you could go ahead and stand up. Perfect. Thank you for helping with that. And now we are going to go on to the next task. You are going to place your hand on the table so that the heel of your hand is fully on the table. Your hand does not need to be flat and do this as quickly as you can, just like that. Okay. Do you have any questions? Just the one hand? Yes. Ready, set, go. Perfect. Okay, so for task six, we're gonna use the box again. You're going to lift your hand from the table and place it on the box so that the heel of your hand is all the way on the box. Do this as quickly as you can. Do you have any questions? No. All right. Ready, set, go. Great job. So place your hand on the top of the box with your heel fully on the box. Make sure to keep your back against the edge of the chair. That is okay. very important. Make sure to take your time as well. You can take as long as you need. Do you have any questions? I do not. All right. Ready, set, go. Great job. You can go ahead and take your arm down and we're going to place another weight in there since you could do that okay. one. Great job. So for task eight, you are gonna go ahead and move the weight across the table towards you just by bending at the elbow. 
just like this. The weight should remain in contact with your hand the entire time and make sure to do this as quickly as you can. Do you have any questions? I do not. Okay. Ready, set, go. So for task nine, you're gonna go ahead and use this Coke can and you're going to lift the can to your mouth without touching your lips. It is important that you use the appropriate grasp and not an overhand grasp. Do this as quickly as you can. Do you have any questions? I do not. Okay. Ready, set, go. Great job. So for the next task, we're gonna be using this pencil. You will pick up the pencil using your thumb and first two fingers and hold it in the air like this. Okay. The pen should be picked up off of the table and not over the edge of the table. Do this as quickly as you can. Do you have any questions? I do not. Okay. Ready, set, go. Great job. You can go ahead and put that down. You're going to be using a paper clip for this one. So you are going to pick up the paper clip using your thumb and index finger and hold it in the air like this. The paper clip should be picked up on the table and not pulled off to the side of the table to pick it up. Do this as quickly as possible. Okay. Do you have any questions? These two fingers? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Ready, set, go. I don't have many nails. <laughs> yeah, that one can be hard. That's 12, we're gonna be using these checkers. Okay. You are going to stack the two end checkers onto the center checker, like this. They do not have to be perfectly aligned, but the two top checkers cannot be touching the table. Okay. Do this as quickly as possible. Do you have any questions? I do not. Okay. Ready, set, go. So for this task, you are gonna go ahead and flip over each of the cards. You should slide the card towards you so that it is a little over the edge of the table and then flip it from side to side. You will start with the card on your left and then do the one in the middle and the one on the right. The cards may land anywhere on the table, so don't worry about readjusting them and make sure to do this as quickly as possible. Do you okay. have any questions? I do not. Okay. Ready, set, go. Great job. So for this next test, we're gonna be testing your grip strength. If I can have you stand up, we're gonna move the chairs once again. I'm gonna go ahead and have you bring your arm out like this. Perfect. And you are going to squeeze onto this as hard as you can for at least three seconds. We'll okay. be doing this three times with a one minute break in between. Ready, set, go. And release. Good job. And now you can go ahead and take a one minute break. Okay. And so for task 15, we're gonna go ahead and use this wall and this key. You're going to grasp the key between your thumb and forefinger, just like this. And you are going to place the key into the lock and turn it left as far as it can go, and then right as far as it can go. Right. And then you will bring it back up to the vertical position. Okay. There is a stop on either side and be sure to move the key until you reach that point. Do you have any questions? I do not. Okay. Ready, set, go. So for task 16, we're going to go ahead and use this towel. You are going to grab the far corners with both hands and fold it lengthwise like this. Then fold it a half across the center by using your left arm. Try to get the ends of the towels close together. Okay. Do this as quickly as you can. Do you have any questions? I do not. Okay. Ready, set, go. Mom. 
mostly lined up. Perfect. I think it's better than mine was. Oh. For this task, you're going to go ahead and grab the basket with your left hand mm -hmm. and you're going to pick it up and place it onto the rolling table. All right. Make sure you don't move your feet while you do this task and do it as quickly as you can. Okay. Do you have any questions? I do not. All right. Ready, set, go. Just like that? Yes. Perfect. All right. And you are all done with the That's assessment. It? Okay, awesome. It was great meeting you today. Mm -hmm. And I'll go ahead and look up these results and I'll get back to you on them tomorrow.